Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're wanting to start a YouTube channel while working a full-time job, but just can't figure out how to make the time, then you've clicked on the right video. Because in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a solid foundation that you guys can use to help you start and grow a YouTube channel while working a full-time job. Be sure to stay all the way to the end so you do not miss any of these tips and tricks that I'll be dropping throughout this video. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy or anything, but if we look at what goes into making a YouTube video from start to finish, we could break it down into six parts. We have our researching on what we're gonna make this first YouTube video on. We have our thumbnail creation, our scripting, filming, editing, and uploading, and that's it. So this foundation I'm gonna give you is gonna help you to be able to put out one video a week on your YouTube channel to help you grow this while still working. So without waiting any longer, let's get into our researching phase. Researching on what this video is gonna be on should not take long at all. Do not fall into the analysis by paralysis. All you're doing is going through YouTube, go on your, some of your favorite YouTubers channels and just look for inspiration. And if you're not able to find anything that way, here are some other ideas. YouTube search bar, click in there and start typing in keywords and see what pops up. And if you're still having troubles from there, you could always use ChatGPT to help develop more ideas. All we're trying to do is just get our first video up on our channel while we're still working. Just so we can see this can be done. It wasn't that hard. And every week we could start putting out videos and growing our channel and hopefully monetizing in 2024. All right, now that our research is complete, now it's time for our thumbnails. And for our thumbnails, we're gonna use Canva. So let's jump into my computer and I'll give you guys a quick tour of how to use Canva. So now we're in my computer and this is canva.com. Canva is great for making your YouTube thumbnails, your profile picture, your banner and all that. Canva does have a free and a pro plan, but the free plan is gonna be all that you're gonna need. So all we're gonna do to make our thumbnail is go to create a design in the top right corner, go to YouTube thumbnail, and this is gonna be the exact dimensions you're gonna need. So if you wanted to use one of the templates they already had, go in, you know, you're gonna be in the design here. And then you can kind of like play around with these if you wanted. Elements, there's different elements. You could search for them. I don't know, YouTube, subscribe, if you want to add one of those on there. You could add text. You can upload images. So for instance, like this. But you do need the pro plan if you want to remove the backgrounds on there. So you would have to use another website for that. And then background, you can change the background color. But I'll leave a link down in the description below. I actually made a video on how to use Canva. But so without taking too much time going through Canva again, I'll link a link down in the description below for you guys. And let's move on to our scripting. Heck yeah, now it's time to start scripting our video. So now with our scripting, there's three ways of doing this. We could write out a full script. If we're trying to do a longer video, we could do bullets or we could just wing it. And your first video is not gonna have to be 10 minutes long. You know, it could be, it could be two minutes long, that's fine. Right now, we're just trying to get something out there. But if you do decide to do a full script, don't drag this out so long that the video never gets put out there. You could literally just go to ChatGPT and type in the search bar, write me a YouTube script for whatever the video is gonna be on. And from there, kind of tailor it to the way that you talk so it doesn't sound like somebody else wrote it or like a robot wrote it. And if you are reading the script, make sure you keep your camera a little distance from you so people don't see your eyes shifting back and forth and kind of show, you know, show a little body language in there, have some fun with it. So bullets are gonna be areas that you just wanna touch on throughout the video. Make sure they're in the right order. And there's a good chance you're gonna be tripping on your words a little bit and messing up and cause you don't have a whole script you're reading on. That's fine. We're just gonna edit that out, all the errors. So don't worry about that. If you're just gonna wing it, there's a better chance you're gonna be messing up, but that's fine. We're still gonna be editing it out. And even winging it, you know, that's, that's fine. Cause it's just, you're getting content out there. Your first videos are not going to be great. And if they are, you're the small percentage of people that put out like viral videos for their first videos. When it comes to filming your video, it's okay to film it off of your phone. I, I'm still using my phone. Actually, here's something funny. <laughs> 
for the longest time, a lot of my videos, I've been using the front camera <laughs> only because I could see myself and make sure I'm in frame and all that. This video is gonna look a lot clearer because I'm now using the back side, the, the right side of the camera that you should be using. Your phone is perfect to get you started on YouTube. Just make sure the audio quality is good. So I do suggest if you have some money laying around to get yourself some, some better audio quality and make sure you have some decent lighting, either by a window or have some lights on. Over time, just make it a goal to make your videos better. And like I said before, you could either chunk your videos like I do, where you break your video into sections that you wanna talk about. You film that section, and then kind of look it over, if that looks good, move on to the next section. Or you could just film the whole video, and if you mess up, don't worry, pause, leave a big break, because you'll notice that in the video editor, and then from there, you could just crop out that section. But filming your video is the fun part. It's gonna feel kinda nerve-wracking at first if you're not used to it, but this is it. Most people don't even make it this far. Like, you're so close to getting your first video out there. Now it's time to start editing our videos. You have two options for this. You can either edit them on your own or hire a freelancer on Fiverr. I use iMovie, which comes with all MacBooks. And let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to use it. All right, so this is iMovie. And some of the basics to it, once you import your video into here, is you're gonna wanna do the split clips. So right here, if we look at this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we know we don't want this part in there. So we could either click here and drag it over or click on it and then right click. Well, here, so we're gonna click on it and you see this little cursor right here? We're gonna want that little cursor where we're gonna wanna split the clip. So we'll right click on it and then click split clip and then we're gonna highlight the one that we don't want and then hit delete. And you're gonna go through your videos like that. Next so here, one. the ending Oops. here. Oop. Let's get rid of some of this. Perfect. Peace. Cool. And then if we wanted to add a transition, just go to transitions and there's a couple different transitions here to choose from. If you hover over it, I'll show you what they look like. So we'll try like the swap. We just drag it right down there. Peace. Perfect. What else? So color correction. See, this is <laughs> when I was using the front side of the camera. <laughs> Why it looks like that. So color correction, we're gonna go to the little painter's palette right up here, click on that. And if we drag this to the right, it's going to brighten things up. So we'll tone it down a little. See, and this is why you guys definitely need to be using the back side of the camera. <laughs> and then if we click on this one, we kind of darken it up a little bit. Same thing or lighten it. Yeah, that's about the best it's going to get. <laughs> so here's another thing too like if you guys notice in the beginning of some of my videos I like to do the zoom where it zooms in on it so let me see I don't think this one has it what is going on everyone welcome back to another one with 20 so I'll show you guys how to do that zoom so as you can see this one's got the yellow bar around it so it's highlighted we're going to go to the crop right here and then you got your Ken Burns, which is, it'll start off with a full screen and then it'll end the zoom in this block right here that's highlighted. It'll end the zoom with uh, the ending here, the smaller screen. So we'll hit the check right here. So let's see now. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another one. With 2023 starting tomorrow, there's never been a better. Perfect. Or, so you could click reset 
and it'll go back to what it was before the Ken Burns. Or we can crop the fill. So it'll kind of crop out things that we don't, it'll crop out the, the part that we don't want. There we go. What is going on everyone? Well See? And then for our volume, the volume's down here. We can lower it. Everyone. Or raise it. Normally, I keep mine around 200, but you want to be mindful of, let me bring it up a little. See all the yellow right there? You don't want that. So bring it down a little bit, but I try to keep mine closer to 200 for all my videos. And say if we want to slow motion apart, so let me split the clip. I'm just trying to show you guys a couple of little basic things. I'll make another video more in depth with this. So we'll say we want this to be slow motion. So we'll click this little, I guess like speedometer right there. <laughs> so we'll go to speed, go to slow. But yeah, and let's see, titles, if you guys want to add titles, if you guys want to sum in the corner. Perfect. Cool, welcome. You can change the colors and everything, but that's some of the basic stuff. And if you guys wanted to add B-roll, all you guys have to do is type in free videos for commercial use. I forgot which one, Pexels, there we go. Pexels is a good one. So just go to videos, I don't know, um, learning. Let's see what kind of videos I got for people learning. Perfect. So we'll do this. Click free download. That's downloading. I'll just show you guys how to add that in. Out of that. Go back to iMovie. We'll throw it over here. All the B-rolls and anything like that's gonna be up top and all the music and other audios is gonna be at the bottom. So, go here. Let's see where's the recent, perfect. Videos or how much I'm learning continuously to improve my content. There we go. So if you didn't want it that long, we'll just split clip that one. And there we go. Or how much time? Normally you want to keep those around five seconds though. And that's the basics to iMovie. And then when you're done, all you're gonna do is click up here and then export file. And then 1080. And then the thing to look at here is the megabytes. So you don't want to do it too crazy. So if we look at better quality, cool, we could get better quality on it without changing that too much. Let's see, 557 megabytes. Yeah, it jumps to four gigs. So normally this is how I do mine, high on better quality. And the last thing to do is to upload your video to YouTube. I've made some detailed videos on my channel already that'll walk you through this whole process and I'll leave them linked down in the description below. And that's it. It's time to start working on your first YouTube video to upload to your channel. If you got value from this video, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.